Hey everybody, welcome to another Before and After Shaves. Today I'm going to do a shave with the razor I had obtained at the meetup. An E2 type Schick Injector razor, butterscotch handle, Bakelite. And it's got a little corrosion on it as you can see. But it works just fine, I've used it a couple of times already. But today I'm going to do a demonstration. I'm going to put a new blade in using the... Um, using the, the blade injector pack here and how you do it it's not like any other razor but you'd put it in like you're cocking a gun so you see these sides right here you put it through that opening right there all right and now you see that blade loader right there it says blade loader you push well I got cocked back first you gotta cock it back and you push and your old blade comes out like a like an ammo that's perfectly inserted into the razor. Pretty cool, huh? If you're not familiar with the injector types, and of course, be careful where this falls. And just put it in your blade bank, blade bank or something. But yeah, it goes in perfectly. It's like a cartridge razor. It's kind of how cartridge razors began. This was kind of the era that began cartridge. But today I'll do the shave with this E2 type Schick injector. I, I've, I'm not sure what year it is. And the soap I'm going to be using today is the Ann Bonnie um, Shave Soap, which is the um, West Indies Bay, Black Tea, Dark Rum, and Lime. And I've had it blooming. I've had it blooming with some water. It's hard to see. But I want to clear up a misconception here with blooming. And my friend Doug's been doing it too. Um... In fact, it doesn't mean it has anything to do with the performance of your soap. It means it helps bring out the scent. It blooms the scent. So if anyone says something about blooming enhances the lathering process, yeah, don't believe them for a moment, because that's not true. Just wanted to get that out there and help somebody that's been trying to clear this misconception. But yeah, blooming has to do with blooming the scent, as in when you heat the scent with warm water, you're blooming the smell of the soap itself. Anyway, um, and the brush I'm going to be using is the bore that I had obtained at the meetup as well. It's from Eric Johnson. He made this handle, and I chose the knot that he had, and he knotted it for me in person. Yeah, it's an all-natural bore. It's not bleached or anything. So it's an all it's all bore, no enhancements, no coloring or anything. And this um, beautiful um, handle. That's a 24 millimeter, I think. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I just I had pictures on my last shave, but I wanted to hold it up and show it in person. It's got turquoise, copper, and like a creamy white infused in the handle. It's just amazing. It's it's just my favorite colors. Some of my favorite colors. <laughs> All right, let's get to lathering the soap. I'm gonna just gather on the brush here, and I'm gonna face lather today. In fact, I meant to do this. I'll get a little bit of pre-shave oil here. Let's get that going. I'm going to pump a little sandalwood, lavender, and um, no, lather and wood shaving companies. Lather pre-shave or pre-shave oil here. A couple pumps here. That's going to go good with that soap. I was looking forward to doing another shave with a new injector blade. And in fact, I've discovered with the injector blades that the shaves are pretty mild. Even a push down on it, there's no worry about pressure with these razors, I've noticed. I could be wrong about that. I mean, it's, that's how it's working for me. But it's like a cartridge razor for me, except it shaves better, like any other uh, traditional razor. Okay, pre-shave's good. I'm going to go ahead and... I've got it gathered on my brush here. I think that's enough. This is going to be kind of a practice round with this. Well, let me pull out the tip a little bit here on my brush. All right. Oop, making a mess. Sm she smells as good as always. I've used this bore brush one time before, so this is the second use. She's performing phenomenally.
as you can see. And thanks again, Eric Johnson. I appreciate this very much. This is an awesome brush. There's a hair shedding. Yeah, I appreciate this very much. It's it's done so good. It's done really good so far. And it has a great grip to it. I kind of switch how I hold it, but uh yeah, this bore knot really whips up a nice lather for a soap like this, I know. Okay. Alright, let's get the shave underway here. Shake injector E2, new blade, first use with the growth. Yeah, even if you kind of press down with these. I mean, you got, still got to be careful not to push too hard. But just a little, just pushing some helps. I know you don't have to press a lot every time. It just doesn't hurt when you do it. Let's see about right here. Sideburns are covered up. It's just a lot safer to use, too. Such a good blade guard on it, safety guard, as you can see on like the bottom of it. So how's everybody's day been so far? Everyone have a great day? Out here it's been it's been cold, but today was actually a pretty nice day. But um, we've had some uh, in the past week we've had some pretty low temps, being in the midwestern region. Weather's been just nonstop, just off the wall weird. You know, it's it'll be warm for a few days and then it'll kind of go back to being freezing again. And where I'm at, I have to have the water dripping in my sink, or the pipes want to burst. As it gets unusually cold, if it gets like in the teens or lower. So I've had some issues with the plumbing before when that happened. So far, so good here. And Bonnie's doing an amazing job. And what's good about these injectors? Hold on. Is that they're um good to work around facial hair. Them and Chevette's, or Chevette type razors, such as, such as these, like I, like I've been using kind of on the side. Just excellent facial hair trimmers, if you ever need to trim around a tough edge, or tough corner. See how fast I'm going with this thing? This would also be something you can use when you're in a hurry. That's a solid blade and it gives a nice close shave. Even a one pass would suffice for most people. And even the neck, when I do it on the neck like this, it doesn't it doesn't irritate it. And people say heads pivot on these, like, I don't know if that means they're supposed to... You think I would know this, but injectors are new to me. But you think I would know this, um... You think the heads would be pivoting on these... Like, this one doesn't really pivot, I mean, it kind of moves, but... I don't know if it's supposed to be. But it performs just fine. Okay. First pass done. Now let me kind of wet my face a little bit here, get this cleared off. But yeah, if you haven't tried a Dr. John's soap, and that's who the soap is made by, is Dr. John's. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dr. John's. They make excellent, really new, skin nutrient rich soap. Yeah, these are, if you can't see the ingredients here, let me kind of hold it there if you want to pause it. But yeah, um, lots of good nutrients. That's an amazing slickness too. 
In fact, this is probably the first time I've used a bore brush with it. It's always been synthetic brushes. And that's only the second use of this brush, too. Alright. I'm going to go... This will be a two-pass shave. I'm going to go across the growth here. See, it makes it easy for a quick shave. Hear that awesome feedback. Very comfortable, very smooth. I mean, I wouldn't consider this a replacement for double edge, even though, I mean, some people may prefer to use injectors. But for double edge, I mean, I find that more nostalgic. That's how I started. I wouldn't want to go any other way. I mean, I, I like to switch between things, but I like to rotate razors, you know. I like think most of us would. You barely feel the blade on your skin. Feels like you're just gliding the razor with no blade. So. I don't think I've done it against the green with this one. You can barely feel it. I mean, I can feel some of the blade. This is just like I've said, a good razor to use when you're in a rush. And you want to wet shave. And I'm that kind of person that wants to always do it. <laughs> like when I try to use any you know, shaving cream that's not meant for this, uh, it just doesn't feel the same to me. It's not why I got into it. I got to use a brush. That's part of the fun. That's part of the experience. Any of you can say that. I mean, there's a select few that don't care. And that, you know, sometimes you have to do what you got to do to shave. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I've kind of tried to redo the bathroom a little bit. I got a picture hanging up here, Huey Lewis in the news. And I moved my Phoenix right there, my Phoenix shaving emblem. But yeah, I'm trying to kind of make, make over this bathroom a little bit, however you would want to say it, you know. Change things up a little bit. Okay, here I can feel the blade. Any of my more sensitive areas that I've gone over a few times, you will eventually feel this. But when you start it, you barely feel the blade. And sometimes it can be tough to get under here. I think that's good. Feels very clean. Over here is always tough, but it's because of the angle of the hairs. Okay. All right. Great shave, got that done. All right, now I'm gonna wet my face again here, rinse it off. I'm approaching 14 minutes, I wanna, I'm getting close, and I'm trying to keep them in a small, or keep them from getting too long without having to cut out too much of my video. It cuts editing time when I, you know, try to do it a certain way. All right. All right, now. Actually, I don't have to use Witch Hazel because the aftershave I'm going to use is Katie's Bubbles Barnegat Bay. And it contains West Indies Bay, Allspice, Clove, Citrus, and Patchouli. It's a very essential, all-natural smelling aftershave and it's a small bottle you know it's like about that big in your hand it's 1.69 full ounces so always shake them first um it's got a little reducer right there just pour you a little palm about four good little shakes in the palm wasting it a slight little burn awesome all natural essential oil smell Mm. Yeah, it goes great with that soap. It's different than the soap, but it goes with it. Yeah, barely a burn. Kind of like up here, down here a little bit, but I felt it up here. Yeah, very close shave. Yeah, it's... And, after that, 
do a little bit of a something I haven't used in a while. Nivea for men, maximum hydration, moisturizing post shape balm. Okay, it unscrews kind of like that. Okay, it's a really runny consistency here. Okay. But yeah, with blooming soap, don't think it's for the performance of the lather. Think of it for the performance of the scent. Bringing out the all-natural oils and the scent that's in the soap itself. Especially if you want to smell up your bathroom or any room you shave in. You know, it's a free air freshener. Okay. Great. Feels awesome. Interesting combo. Mm. All right, folks. I mean, that's that's the shave. Well, let me um do a recap here. Shave soap of the day. Ann Bonnie, she performed very well. Board brush took it really good too, in the board brush. Eric Johnson's, I don't know what the name would be. Oh, Eric Johnson's brush that he made. He made the handle for these brushes. I can put a link to his Facebook page in the description below. I don't know if he does like an online shop, but you can probably message him if you're interested in something. But I need to talk to him first. But yeah, Eric Johnson's boar brush. Inspired by a photo I posted in the last video. All the lather I've got left. And the aftershave. With, um, it's got witch hazel too. Actually, you know what? I thought these contain witch hazel. That's all right. It works. Yeah, Katie's Bubbles, Aftershave. And I, I've read that some of their aftershaves contained some witch hazel, but I forgot this one doesn't. So just forget what I said about having witch hazel. All right. And the um, Aftershave Balm was the Nivea for Men Moisturizing Post Shave Balm. And the pre-shave oil I used before the whole shave was the Lather and Wood Shaving Company's Sandalwood Pre-Shave. That's the shave, everybody. Every uh, Thank you very much, everyone, for watching and subscribing to me. Again, I mean, thank you for all the likes. And again, I mean, you can, you're also invited to join my Facebook page as well, the Before and After Shavers Wet Shave Club. It's on Facebook, and I've also got a, a page on Twitter. It's called Before and After Shaves. So again, yeah, you're all invited to my wet shave club. I've got 36 members so far, and it's growing. So again, everyone, have a great night. And again, thank you very much. Take care.